Hello, my name is Tip Thompson and welcome back to Idiots Reviews of Films, the show where we seek out the best, worst reviews of great movies. This week we're taking a look at what people thought of Black Panther. Now, I'm aware it may be a little early to call Black Panther one of the greatest films of all time, but even if you didn't like it, there's no denying its impact and significance, especially in today's climate. Well, you'd think there was no denying it. Oh, and as a mini disclaimer, yeah, this was a lot like shooting racist fish in a white sheet covered barrel, but I've done my best to seek out a variation of reviews. Overhyped and full of reverse racism. Alright, so I'm gonna start with some of those fish, but god damn the level of stupid here. I was so hyped after watching the trailer, but the movie was a big letdown. Story was boring and so were the fights. The SJWs, oh god, you have any idea how many times I've seen that phrase looking through these reviews, are probably deleting all the negative reviews. Why are there always conspiracies against white people? Or maybe it's just me and my friends who thought this movie was awful. No, I'm sure there's other chapters of the KKK that weren't fans either. Too many black actors, no LGBT heroes and plots. <sighs> well, I agree with half of your statement, but I still think you're a complete dick. I rate this movie 1 out of 10 because it bad and has bad storytelling, bad action scene and in all it's a Marvel movie so bad. You know, I got about two films into the DC Cinematic Universe before I realised it was all going to be ball bags. This dude is 18 films deep into Marvel's output and still hasn't quite worked out you can just stop watching them. The worst Marvel movie besides Civil War, whoa man your argument has fallen down there already. The plot was boring and was overwhelmed by the effort to give it a social complaining. I hate it when people complain about things I don't agree with. The angles of the camera were lazy. Yeah, Ryan Coogler, why don't you try putting the camera on a fucking tripod or something rather than just leaving it on the floor, lazy bones? And T'Challa was a boxing bag. Rubbish film promoting ideas that are popular with the alt-right. Um, did we see the same movie? Do you know what the alt-right is? Are you a human person? Avoid. Richard Spencer, okay, I had to Google this dude, and the first thing that came up for Richard Spencer is white supremacist. Even Google knows he's a racist cock bucket. The alt right guy behind the whole Charlottesville thing loves it for its portrayal of ethno nationalism, and so do the critics. The alt right and the people who love this movie want the same thing pathetic. Why do people think racist cock buckets love this film? Looking at the critic reviews, I can't help but think how pathetic Hollywood is. 100%. Really? This movie was perfect? I love the virtue signalling BS. I won't watch it just because of the political nonsense. Let me know when we start making movies again. Yeah, what happened to all those movies starring white middle class men? I want my industry back! Some great scenes, but a rather absurd movie. Unlike all those other realistic superhero films you see. Michael B. Jordan is the weak link. Whoa! Whoa, what? Hang on, what? Hang on. Hang on, okay, right, I can get that the alt-right love this film, but Michael B. Jordan being the weak link. Please leave the internet immediately. The man is superb, and yes, I have a total man crush on him, but shut up, that's not the point. This movie really doesn't look that good. I personally think the acting in the trailers was god-awful. I would rather smoke a fat crack rock than watch this garbage flick. To be honest, man, it doesn't sound like you need any more crack today. Too many negative racial overtures. Oh, that'll be all the black people. Marvel needs to keep their political ideologies out of the movies. The film portrays a lot of inappropriate content for children, like black people. Ugh, I don't want children thinking black people exist. Ugh. Too far out there for me to suspend my disbelief enough to sit through. I much prefer Lord of the Rings or The Matrix. You know, documentaries with real people. Spoiler warning in my review. Everybody keeps putting up the politics before the actual quality of the movie. Before the SJWs, there it is again, try to roast me, there are many movies that have black actors that did social commentary that were far better quality, like Get Out. That is a good film, I'll give you that. Otherwise, it is incredibly bland. The what are those joke made me cringe. Despite being two hours, they somehow managed to pack too much shit into this film. They started a plot with the arm cannon guy, didn't care enough to look up his name, or care enough to remember that he was in Age of Ultron as well, and how T'Challa would get revenge against him for personal reasons. 
I think, okay, maybe Arm Cannon Guy will get more powerful arm, and the two will face off in a final fight. Cliché, yeah, but at least it's coherent, unlike the story we got. They immediately drop the Arm Cannon Guy story for Warmongers. Stupid name. Also, not his name. Killmonger, dude. Story instead. They bring in Arm Cannon Guy and build up how he killed T'Challa's dad, and how T'Challa should get revenge. Warmonger, Killmonger, kills him, and ultimately the story has no closure. It was brought up for no reason, and now we have to follow a brand new villain late into the film. Hey, remember when that late into the film villain was in one of the very first scenes? Not only that, I found it difficult to care, or believe in Warmonger, KILL MONGER goals, because he keeps talking about how black people are mistreated. And I'm assuming he also groups police brutality into the argument. Ugh. Yet his dad was a criminal who broke not only Wakandan laws by stealing vibranium, but also taking part in the black market and weapons trading in America. Why can't villains start with nice happy homes and polite upbringings? It's not like it's a metaphor for the impression of an entire race or anything. It's kind of hard to take him seriously. I'd rather be dead than in bondage, oh the oppressors and the oppressed. Mmm, that's a misquote. They just, oh, forget it. When your dad broke several laws, eh? Regardless, this movie is ridiculously overrated. The fact that people would side with the villain, that yeah, we should attack our oppressors, is scary to think about. I think that's the point where people don't side with him, man, and that's why he's the villain? If you want to protest injustice, rioting and attacking is the easiest, most devastating and laziest route. Guess what? Takes effort, be remembered better, and actually get the job done without killing? Protesting peacefully like Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. Huh. Guys, I, this might just be a hunch, but I think this guy might be white. Well, that's it for another week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And come and leave me suggestions for future episodes. And remember, Wakanda forever. Also, don't be a racist douchebag.